Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast for Feb 17th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Oh. Mm, going through a betrayal. Scorpio. Scorpio this week, an air sign that has betrayed you in the past, you know, and uh, it's their well-kept secret will finally be revealed by the, um, by the first few days of this week. Now, right after discovering this, you would want to just, um, you know, go and move. But then you feel like you just can't really let this person go and let them run away with whatever they have done to you. You know, you want to get back at them and you want to give them the lesson that they really deserve. But for the meanwhile, you want to move away so that you can have a space and you can, you know, breathe for a little while. And you want to regain your strength. But while you're trying to regain your strength, you want to plan and you want to think, okay, of how to get back at this person. I, I don't feel like it's going to be like, you know, the dark, but... This person have already put you through a lot of, you know, a lot of um, heartbreaks, a lot of pain, a lot of anguish, miseries. And every time that you look in the mirror, you're not the same person as you are anymore. And you've been looking at yourself like, where did all those years go? And where did all, where did my old self go? You have tried to put your, you know, your best effort. And you have tried to make this relationship work. And with that. You know, this person just consumed the best of you. And you have tried to exude everything that you can to prove to this person that this relationship is worth fighting for. But then at the end of the day, you will just discover that this person has been betraying you right from the very beginning. And it's been, you know, for so long. Now, you will be discovering the lies and the betrayals um, in a form of... Um, like an accident communication. Okay, it's not through them, it's not through the phone. But there is something like a mode of communication that you will be stumbling upon. And you will just get the clue. It's not the direct evidence. Or it's not that like, for example, email or text message. No. It is in the form of them searching for something. And then you will be, you know, putting things through and through. And it's like you're going to be uh, like p piecing out the, the puzzle, you know. Let's say, for example, that last week you saw that they did this, the you know, last month, last week and stuff like that. They, uh, you know, they, there are some other activities that you feel like, what are they up to? And now this week, you are going to be getting the final piece of the puzzle and you will eventually, you know, nail it down. Even if you will try to confront them, even if you will try, okay, even if you will try to... Uh, make them regret the things that they have done to you. I don't feel like they have that kind of soul or I don't feel like they have that kind of conscience to feel guilty about what they have done. In fact, you know, that they are, they're just going to tell you that you made me do this. Okay? Um, they're just going to tell you that you taught me how to be like this. You taught me how to do this and that. It's just like a cold excuse, you know, and it's, it's also the favorite line of a narcissist. Now, while you are on a vacation or while you're away, you know, away from this person, you will also be, like, there will be some regrets that you will be feeling that, you know, like you've been so blind for such a long period of time and how can you drag it, you know? That's long. 
And how can you really put up with this kind of situation for such a long period of time? And now, now is the only time for you to discover everything. Whereas there are a lot more opportunities in the past for you to nail this down. Well, it's because that you have tried to keep your hopes up. And then you have tried to see the silver lining to the situation that they would still, you know, either develop their feelings or they are they would feel conscientious about what they, whatever it is that they've been doing because you've been so good to them. But some people are just naturally, um, you know, like, um, they're not really that uh, conscientious. Okay, they don't have any conscience. Now, you will be traveling, okay? And I feel like there are a few people that you will be seeing, meeting, and asking for some help or asking for their opinions. There is also what sorry, uh, there is also an earth sign that will be coming your way to give you some sound advices. I feel like this is, these are more of your siblings, okay, or your relatives, and um, it seems like at this point they're gonna be um, working with you. Or they're also going to be taking an action for you to get out of the situation. Because this person, this air sign will try to stagnate you or will try to hold you back. And even though you fear for your safety, because this person is also a little bit violent or hostile. Um, you just want to make sure that, you know, especially if you have kids. You just want to make sure that your kids will be safe. Okay? And... They just wanted to hear from you that whatever happens, you're not going to get back together with this person. If they will make a move, if they'll make, if they'll take an action, you have to be um, serious with your decision or you have to be sure of the actions that you need to take. Which is, this is the reason why you're going to be moving away for a little while because you know that once this person woos you, you have to go and check out with yourself and uh, check out with your, you know, with your heart that enough is enough okay and that there is no turning back once this whole thing will go on now when it comes to your finances i don't feel like it's gonna be a um you know dry week for you in fact that there will be a lot of movements and progresses and all of those pending plans you know for the past few weeks since january it seems like now it's finally moving and it seems like you will have enough strength or enough resources to push this through. Not to mention that there is also a, possi uh, a possibility of moving to a new place or a new house. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for now, Scorpio. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.